This is Tyne Street in North Shields and that is the River Tyne uh, below and to the side of the river we have South Shields and further up the river there's Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle is about 15 kilometres uh, or so from here and this is very close to the, the estuary in fact uh, there we, we have the sea which is just beyond uh, over the brow of the hill so it's, uh, it's very close. Uh, North Shields is uh, a fishing port, uh, was a fishing port, um, it was also quite uh, heavily industrialised as was South Shields, so based around things such as not only import and export, uh, seafaring jobs, but also the export of uh, coal, uh, formerly cotton and uh, other, other goods. This meant that a large number of people from many countries did end up here and uh, for example uh, over, the, over the side of the water and at South Shields there's still a very large population of people uh, uh, coming from Aden um, who were brought here mainly uh, during the First World War. They actually encouraged to come here but even before then there's an Aden community um, that exists here in North Shields is quite well known. Uh, the Jewish population came largely from uh, Central and Eastern Europe, uh, from parts of Russia, uh, trying to get out there and they ended up here. And some of them did just chose not to move on any further. And uh, the, popul the Jewish population of North Shields uh, did start to grow and so much so that uh, by 1875 they even uh, purchased a site and uh, in this street here for a synagogue, a Linskilled Street which is uh, just behind me. Now it's completely, been completely done up uh, in recent years um, and now I'll explain a little bit about the history because people initially lived down there in the narrow um, space of land between the river and the beginning of the hill and the the more uh, wealthy people lived at the top here however there was difficulties getting water the population below was growing and so what was largely uh, slums uh, which developed at the bottom actually worked their way up to the top here so this area uh, which had been let's say in the 18th century um, reasonably uh, well to do by the 19th century was not and, um, and lots of immigrants as well as locals would be living in uh, these areas. The same thing happened in London and other places. Um, so it, we can see in the Shields Daily News uh, on the 16th of July 1875 the Jewish community bought um, a, a plot of land up here which was at 23 uh, Linskill Street and uh, I'll show you walk up now there now things I don't know where it is exactly I mean I know where it is today but I mean the numbers will no doubt have changed uh, there was however um, the amount of Jews living here uh, uh, was not really stable those who actually could moved on uh, particularly to Newcastle and maybe to other people so much so that we see in a letter dated the 22nd of December uh, 1911, there was a difficulty in getting a minion, let's say 10 men, together to form a, uh, a group which can actually pray. On the 29th of October 1920, there were 12, only 12 Jewish families still living here, and there was a £130 mortgage outstanding on the uh, synagogue, and they were having difficulty finding the money. They were trying to get somebody to uh, actually help out with it. Um, I wouldn't mind having a mortgage of £130. On the 30th of June 1930, 10 years later, there's only 40 people left. So we had 12 from 12 families, and these 12 families tend to be more than that. Um, on the 26th of June 1931, we do see an advertisement, however, looking for somebody to uh, work here. So it's going to have to be a teacher, because there was a school as well. The school was attached to the synagogue. Um, in fact, we can all read about that in the, in the newspaper of 1875. And uh, the person also had to be a ritual uh, butcher, so he had to know how to uh, sh uh, shot it. And he, so he had to know how to, uh, uh, to, to do that. And... Um, for, I don't know if the role was taken, I presume it was. By the 24th of July 1953, we find an article in the Jewish Chronicle in London uh, that there's now a disused synagogue in North Shields, but it is here 
and uh, to be used by a community should they ever decide to either come back or use it again. Well, that was now uh, nearly 60 years ago. It was knocked down some time ago and there is no community left here uh, whatsoever. On the other side of the river, in South Shields, uh, there was a Jewish community active until around mm, 10 years ago or so. Um, it's no longer, the, the, there's no longer a place where meetings are held, uh, maybe at somebody's house. Um, in Newcastle as well, uh, the community is dying. Having said that, in Gateshead there is a very religious Orthodox Haredi community which is thriving.